you're right when you're wrong, when in joy or in pain, when you lose or when you gain. Tenderly, he watches over you every step, every mile of the way. Thank you. Long before. Share that last time, but uh, it just touches my heart to hear Uncle share his faith uh, in in the Lord. Um, and even with his brother Ralph, like we were together, and, and he was sharing with Ralph, and and um, he, he was encouraging me <laughs> to to pray. And so I mean, we we prayed together, and at the end of it, um, Ralph said. That's really good. Like he really was touched by it, and uh, uh, but just to see Uncle, uh, just be open about it. It, it just, it's a good thing. <laughs> well, Auntie and Uncle have been a part of my life for almost my whole life, and they are definitely my second set of parents, and I, I just love them with all my heart. And so I was going to mention. Uh, this last year, I have five siblings, and um, auntie and uncle have a way of being able to relate to anybody at any age. And I think something that makes them stay young is that they always have an interest in people. And um, they can make, when they're with you, they can make you feel like you're the most important person in your life. And um, really um, encouraging people, and um, they're just so unique. I've never met anybody like them. And so this last year, my siblings and I and my mom, we wanted to do something special for them. And so um, I found out about this bench dedication up in Palos Verdes. So that's what we did. We uh, got a bench for them. And they gave us a, we could write something on a plaque and it was limited. So we all were going back and forth what word we wanted in there that described them. And so I, we would have wanted to say a lot more, but this is what we came up with. Um, in gratitude to Phil and Iris Meehan, adventurous entrepreneurs who encourage others with their love, optimism, and faith in God, you have blessed our lives. So um, if any of you want to go check it out, <laughs> it's up at the Interpretive Center. So um, anyhow, just really lovely. I was just there time. yesterday. Really? Yeah. Are you kidding? Oh. No. <laughs> Sit on the bed? You can make a claim on it. Go sit there. Yeah. Phil, <laughs> well, I just want to thank you for being such a, such a, a good person to me and, and just giving me advice whenever I've needed it and asked for it. Uh, I just appreciate it. I love you very much. I want to wish you a happy birthday and, and many, many more. I'm going to add a P.S. to what <coughs> Keith just said. I want to thank you for giving him a good wife. <laughs> <laughs> Uncle Phil introduced Brenda to Keith. So. <laughs> I love you, Uncle Phil. Thanks for always inviting me to your family outings or get-togethers. I appreciate your love, your friendship, your encouragement. And Auntie Iris, just the same. Um, you guys are salt and pepper. Um, and I just love you both. Thank you. John. 
Okay, Iris bought my clothes for me and Phil tied my ties for me. <laughs> and without them, I couldn't have a job. <laughs> so, thank you both and happy birthday. Good job. Good job. I was telling my kids how happy I was to be here today because it's uh, definitely a rare occasion to have us all together. So I thank you for having us and I hope to have um, more time with you walking on the beach or just coming over to say hi because I'd love my kids to get, to get to know both of you better. I remember coming in as a kid and I'd always get a little macadamia nut cookie. <laughs> Is that a hint that you want to have? And that was my favorite thing. I swear I'd get so excited and, and Grams would go grab it for me and I, it was just like the one thing I came in when I came in the house. So um, I hope that they get to know you better because you guys have so many wonderful stories. I want to share them with my kids. I love you. Happy birthday, Phil. <laughs> that was good. Right to the point. Hi. Um, so this is my first time joining you guys for a birthday celebration because I, I think I'm the newest member of the family here. So, uh, um, so I am very honored to be here. And uh, I only did half the work, but I'm, I'm also very honored that next year, Kirsten and I will have the newest new member of the family, so we're going to give you guys another grandchild, so that's our good news for sure. All right. Thank you. Kirsten. Uh, so, <clears throat> like Nikki, I used to always go straight to the cookie jar too at the house, <laughs> and, and I still do, so it's still full. <laughs> um, no, I just, I just appreciate you guys making time whenever we come down so that we can see you and spend time with you. That's always a highlight. And I enjoy as I get older hearing your stories um, together. And Grandpa, it's amazing all the stories that you have that you've lived in your life. <laughs> um, and so I'm just so thankful how welcoming you guys have been with Larry into my life and so I'm appreciative for that and that you guys have gotten to meet him and know him. Um, but it didn't take like another 10 years for me to meet him so <laughs> thank you for that. And Grandpa, one thing I love about you is your sense of humor and your sense of adventure and so I thank you for passing that down the lineage. <clears throat> Happy birthday. I too go to the cookie jar. <laughs> Now, Phil you, Phil, you remember since the beginning of time, right? You have many memories, you have many contributions to this society. You have an adventurous life that started way back when, and you've prospered, and you've grown, and you've created so many happy memories for everybody at this table, and then around, outside of this table, also, very many happy memories for people you've taken care of. You've unselfish, selfishly given and received, and we appreciate all that you have to offer. And Iris, you have a good man there. Happy day before your birthday, Dad. I love you so much, and I just feel such joy, and I'm so thankful that uh, this is your 92nd year and you're doing so well. But what I'm most appreciative of is we have eternity together. So I'm so thankful for that and your, your faith. And I'm so, I love you folks so much. I'm so glad you have each other. And the going gets tough and you guys just join hands and you just keep moving forward and leading the way. So thank you for the tenacity you've, you've taught us. And, welcoming us. And, um, I just look forward to many more years and I keep telling you, you should write a book on how to stay so young. You both look so good. <laughs> I'm serious. It'd be a bestseller. So, love you guys so much and thank you for all you've done for, for me and then my family. And it's so nice to have four generations here today. Um, really, really special to have that. That doesn't happen very often in families, I don't think so. Love you and happy birthday. Happy birthday, Great Grandpa Meehan. Uh, 
Maybe she'll come around. She wants to sing a song or tell you a story, but right now we're shy. So maybe maybe we'll revisit. Want to sing a song right now for Grandpa? No. No? You want to say happy birthday? Say happy birthday. So after all these decades have I missed this cookie jar. I too love the cookies. There is so much that I admire about the two of you. But one of the things is is your passion for health and vitality that you've passed down. As I'm getting older, I'm getting more aware of this stuff, but it's incredible because, Grandma, you've looked the same as long as I can remember. I and it is so amazing how well you guys take care of yourselves. And Grandpa, we were actually talking about it before, is I still have pictures of you with your Speedos Grease, on, flexing, grease stuff. stuff, and it's amazing how well you guys take care of yourself. So thank you for passing that down the lineage chain. Yes. Happy birthday. It's true, you guys do look the same since I, forever. <laughs> um, I, without dad being here today, I hope that in the future when we have conversations that I can he actually listen to your stories because in the past, every time Dad and you were together, it was always, you guys would argue about <laughs> dates, um, places, like it went on and on and on, and I was like, can we just finish the story without <laughs> all the interruptions? <laughs> so, <laughs> so I'm looking forward to hearing your stories without, as my dad would say, embellishments. <laughs> <laughs> I like to just hear your stories without my dad's input. So, anyways, <laughs> happy birthday, and I look forward to many more. And we honor your dad today because he was at the last birthday. He wanted more songs. He said, "What happened? Why didn't we get more music?" Uh, but we love him, and we're thankful that we had him as long as we did. Thank you. I am so happy to be here with my brother. And I'll be looking forward to the next 100 years. Uh, I'm only nine. And uh, he's a couple of years older than I, but we've got another 100 to go. So that, looking forward to it. And thank you for inviting me to your wonderful party. I believe it. I think I will be wrong. <laughs> Talk about inspiration. Um, I just, I didn't realize how unique our family was until I really got looking at other families and what an honor to be um, a family of such long-lived, healthy, beautiful, beautiful people. So, so happy for you. 92 years old, you're redefining it. I mean, that's, the, that's what 92 looks like, bring it on. So, good job and, and all the best. Love you very much, happy birthday. Thank you so much for just being a great dad and a great godfather and a great uncle. You know, it takes somebody special to stand up and um, agree to be godparents for two young girls. And Lisa and I always looked up to the both of you. We got a sense of adventure and fun and playfulness from you. And Lisa even says today, she probably got her love of guns from you. <laughs> and she says that she got her, um, she watched Auntie for the gift of hospitality. She learned how to set a table and how to decorate for a party from watching Auntie. And we both have such fond memories. Lisa was sorry she couldn't be here today, but we have fond memories of you serving us ice cake cream for breakfast on top of waffles when we were kids. And just how safe and loved we've always felt when we were together with you. Thank you for giving us a safe place, for being an advisor to me and to my children, for making a difference in our lives. Happy birthday. Well, six years ago, right around the day of or the day after your birthday, I came over to meet you both for the first time with Carrie Lamb. You, know, you were just Phil and Iris back then, now you're mom and papa Phil to me. The adventures, going to Tulare this year, very, very much fun. Uh, just wish you all the best and uh, I love you both as, as my own. 
and God bless you. Hi, Phil. We're just happy to be here to help celebrate your 92nd. You remember two years ago? There were some dimes. And I promised I you that those. I would accumulate some dimes for your 100th. And oh. you're still doing it. <laughs> uh, what, what has really been exciting this year is that we celebrated our 65th anniversary in August. Wow. And we're going to commemorate it next month in Hawaii. Well, Phil and Iris, so we, for many years, we saw you guys every Sunday at the Elks. And we always had so much fun together, and we sure missed that. Just absolutely miss it. It's like a boy. <laughs>
is uh, self-sufficient in any way. When I get to Tulare, I'm macho. And, uh, and that's the only time, though. Right now, I'm, I'm just a typical husband. But uh, at any rate, I feel very, very fortunate to have uh, accumulated all of you folks as family. Happy birthday to you. And many more on Channel 4.